Hey, how you doing? Resident Evil Zero here. Well, that's the game, not me. I'm Jono. Um, a funny thing happened just after the ending of the last episode. I continued to fiddle around with this case. For some reason, I got it in my head. There'd be a clue on the case. It's weird how that happens sometimes. You just get a hunch. And I was fiddling with it, but the first time I'd done that during the actual episode, I just backed out like that. After the episode, I was having a little fiddle around, and I actually pressed OK. And I don't know exactly where I was looking. And it said, it's locked via a combination lock. Locking closely, you notice the numbers 385 written on the corner. Now, I am cannot see anything with my own eyes that says 385 in any sort of corner. But, there we go. So I don't know what's in it though. I left it at that. 385. Come on, Magnum. The lock is opened. Alright. Come on, Magnum. Come on, Magnum. Come on. There is something inside. Imagine it was just empty. Oh, handgun parts. Okay. A set of various parts consisting of a scope and a scope mount. Oh, yeah. Equipping these on a handgun will greatly increase the gun's firing precision. Uh, I wonder if that means, like, critical hits. Now... Here's the thing. Um, I wonder if it plays that... Whoops. I wonder if it plays that role of... I'll go check over there. Okay. I'm gonna go grab that ammo. Uh, I wonder if it plays that, well not rule, I don't know why I'm calling it a rule, but in Resident Evil 2 I remember you get handgun parts and when you'd combine them it would actually um, reload. Shit, not good, not good, damn it. It'd fully reload the gun, that's what I'm trying to say. So I won't do it just yet. When we come back I'll have the handgun parts. Yeah. Alright, I managed to get my ammo. Giving it mostly to Billy. And. Mm, this is the thing I wish I could save way more often. So we got our tablets. I got the shotgun ammo. Uh, Billy's got the shotgun. So hopefully we can get up to where the tablets are. And. Well, where they have to be placed. So if we just go through. Upstairs. First door. Upstairs. Yeah, we just gotta watch that room with the bugs. Mainly for Rebecca. And then hopefully... Oh, there's bound to be a boss. Where I can kill it first time. My main concern is there'll be a boss where Rebecca's somehow involved. I don't want her anywhere near that sort of thing. And I'd prefer Billy not to get hurt here. Of course I prefer that. Oh, I ran straight into it. Terrible! Should've played as Billy. Why don't I do that? Okay, let's try our luck playing as Billy. Maybe he can get past the bloody bug. And Rebecca can follow. Now it's so annoying having zero health. I know there's a first aid spray, but I'm not prepared to do it yet. I mean, it's way harder on, my, on myself, but I just can't do it yet. Alright, now. Good, good. Leave Rebecca. For a moment. Well, oh, they've got her. I hope I don't run out of save ribbons, because... or ink ribbons. Because... Yeah, I did another little save just then because it took like five fucking attempts to get past the spiders. They're way harder to dodge in this one. Every other Resident Evil game, I'm kind of like, oh, there are spiders? I didn't really notice you. Even Resident Evil 2 in the sewers. Oh, wait. It's obedience, discipline, unit. I can't remember the exact order. What does this actually say? Three fundamental principles. Oh, yeah. 
Um, I don't know what happens if you're wrong, so let me just be safe and go files. Uh, regulations for trainees, it could be. It's in brain. Discipline Obedience Unity, so DOU. Okay, we'll put it in the middle one for some reason. So I guess it doesn't matter? Obedience, discipline, unity. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. Now are they buttons or are they just lit up? Okay, what have we done? Okay, not what I... Oh, just to here? Yeah, there we go. That's that's all I expected. A door to unlock. Okay, well let's give Billy his uh Let's give him that. Yeah, and being optimistic here, aren't I? I've got a real bad feeling too that uh that all those items I've gathered so far aren't gonna somehow follow us. Because how will they? So do I have to go back, pick up all the shit, and then bring it with me? Let's split up. Roger. What was that? This way. Roger. The bats. Uh, I better not leave her outside. Oh my god, it's locked. But there doesn't seem to be a keyhole anywhere. Those bats better not be able to hurt us. What the hell's this room? Are these things I can... That one's broken. Ah. Look. Does it stay unlocked? Let's have a look over here. Maybe I'll get super lucky and there'll be a red herb. And then I can send Rebecca. It's locked from the other side. Great. Anything that way? What's this? An elevator? Doesn't seem to be gaining any power. Of course. Don't see anything herb-wise. Bit of a shame. Bit of a shame. Please still be unlocked. Ah, <sighs> okay. I'll go check over there. Okay. No, okay. Is it's the sink we can go into? Oh. I guess it's just the angle makes it look like it's right here, but I think it's in the rest. So you have to stay put here. Don't know how this is going to work apart from opening that gate. But I might be in luck. Maybe no boss. Church. A shitty run down church. Sometimes when Billy turns, it makes this kind of slapping sound, for want of a better word. It makes me think of zombies shuffling. Can't hear it there. There's an altar here. Despite its aura of divinity, you can't help but sense something ominous about it. Perhaps that ominous looking dude being super stalky like. Um, is that the only door? Well, maybe. Be optimistic here. And pistol it. And how am I actually doing for space? I've got no slots. Bit of a pain. Might have to drop some things. Oh, wow. <gasps> Ink ribbon, too. Um, Billy's already got shotgun, so that's good. Maybe. And 
it's the same to read. Just use a type. Glad about the ink ribbon because we need more. Is this a door? Is this really it? Tiny little room. Um, okay, cool. I guess. Flame rounds, certainly happy with that. Um, right, well, we need to do something to be able to get Rebecca in here. Ah, okay, this might help. Ah, oh, this might be a boss fight. Is that a big bat or just a small, angry bat? Still not sure. Okay, I think it's a big bat. Um, alright. I don't know where you are, Bat. Ow, my face. I'm not even sure if I'm hitting them. Fuck it. Little bats! No! Not the time to reload! I'm not after the little bats, really. I'm still after the big fucker. Now, how am I doing for ammo? Alright. Flame rounds might have been a clue here. Okay, I got him a couple times. Shit on me. These little ones are more of a threat than the big one. No! No! Let me go! Does it hurt? I bet that hurts. What'd I die of? I don't know why I actually died from. Damn it! Alright, we'll try that again. As you can see, I got the grenade launcher. I got 12 flame rounds. I don't know whether that's the bat's weakness. Or not. But we'll give that a go. Gonna for now focus on the grenade launcher. Maybe if that doesn't work, I might try and save it for um. Oh, I missed. That sucks. Save it for when there's a bunch of little bats. Might have to be a bit more careful with when I aim. Fire the gun. Okay, you only got one. Shotgun might be better for this kind of crap. Damn it. How am I doing? Three left. Ah, two left. One left. It'd be better if... Um, okay. Shotgun might be best for when there's actually all these bats. Ah, uh, not what I want. I don't know if bottom mashing helps me. Yeah, the little bats are actually more of a threat to me than the big fucker. Alright, I think we got him. Cool. Yeah, a bit sloppy. Hope I'm not just on fucking danger. That's the most annoying part of all of this. Alright, what have we got? Caution, orange. I can live with that. At least I can take a hit now. The problem is, okay, um... Let's leave that here. And grab my pistol. Go back outside and grab my ammo off Rebecca. And let her know that I killed a giant bat. It looks like you could use something to get up there. That's very vague, but do you seriously mean that grapple hook? That's all the way back at the beginning. It's the only thing I can think of. Might head there. Crap. 
Okay. In that case... Let's see what Rebecca's got. Hey Rebecca, I killed a giant bat! How much space? Okay. Um, so, exchange that with her, she can be our mule. All of it. I'm going to need two slots for the grapple hook. And I might grab ink ribbon and those herbs. And then just decide there. I'll keep the handgun just in case. But we'll be doing all that in the next episode. Because we are all out of time. Hopefully I don't die. I don't really want to save again and again and again, but we'll see how we go. Um, plus that fight I felt could have gone better. Uh, I, I think it would have been better to... Well, the bats never really fucked off, did they? But maybe if I'd shot the bat with the flames a couple times and then shotgunned the little bats and gone back and forth. But either way, until next time, thank you very much for watching and take it easy.